Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're playing the best evolution skeletons deck in Clash Royale. We have Royal Hogs Earthquake, pretty much the best deck in the game right now, period, but a big part of this deck is actually the Evo Skeletons and Evo Ice Spirit. Evo Ice Spirit is going crazy, but Evo Skeletons too, man, they can sometimes win you entire games. Sometimes your opponent will just zap or log them away, but if they don't, they can get so much value. And even when they do have log or zap or whatever, oftentimes they react to it kind of slowly, or maybe they don't have Elixir. Or sometimes you can even just split up your Evo Skeletons and still get a lot of value. Especially with this deck here, you can just go for, you know, split split Royal Hogs, then get split Evo Skellies, and you get a lot of value out of that. If this guy goes for an Ice Golem, we have our delivery. He's for sure playing 2.6. 2.6 is actually another very good deck with Evo Skeletons. Benefits 2.6 quite a bit as well. I'm going to go for the split piggies here. I'm pretty sure he's going to cannon, so I'll go for it like this. Nice, perfect. They always do that cannon placement. They always try to go for it on the side that's weaker. I mean, off to the side, that's stronger, I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. So, perfect. Yeah, a lot of piggies is kind of just mind games, too, I feel like. Just have to really get in the rhythm of things, the momentum of stuff. Okay. Guys, let me know Let me know what evolution you want for Christmas, and maybe, maybe Santa Claus will give it to you, if you like and subscribe. <laughs> Not for real, though. Maybe I'll do some giveaway or something like that sometime, and I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have seen that... Clash Royale has been putting a lot of evolutions in this shop for people to get, so, yeah. I feel like they do put quite a few too many evolutions in this shop, though, for my liking. For me, like, when I see so many offers in this shop, it just feels like a little bit too cluttered, but it is nice to give people access to all the evolutions, at least. Oh, man, the Evo Skelly somehow get all the way to the Archer Queen, but our Evo Ice Spirit is actually going to kind of save us here from really taking much damage at all. Wow. There is no actual way. <laughs> there is no actual way, guys. We just took no damage. Also, guys, you know, I'm playing Evo Skeletons, but my opponent right now is kind of demonstrating also why Evo Skeletons are really broken. Because I have Earthquake, I have Log, but sometimes I still struggle to counter them because you can't always tell when they're in cycle if you're focusing on something else or... I don't know, just a bunch of random factors. They're just the most punishing evolution in Clash Royale, I would say, by a good margin as well. I'm going to get my Queen off here up high. Oh, this could be very bad, actually. But once again, his hog jumped in front. <laughs> this guy's ice golems just do not like him. They're just not protecting any of the hog riders for some reason. I will pop my queen ability. He's going to have to go for another ice golem right here. Oh, he does let it get straight on the tower. Nice. And he's already giving up. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next match. It's Lucas Skywalker from Star Wars. He is... Oh, no. Oh, man. I think I saw this guy actually earlier. I saw this guy earlier on Riley's stream, and he's playing Lava Hound. No balloon, but I'm pretty sure he has lightning. Man, okay, who who's letting people get away with this? Like, guys, I need to meet whoever allowed lava lightning to become a thing. Like, who, who is, like, not doing their job? I feel like someone in the ladder hierarchy is not doing their job. Like, there has to be some players who can counter this deck, right? Like, something that would prevent them from going for a deck so dumb. But, I don't know, someone's not doing their job to counter lava and keep these lava lightning players out of here, I feel like. <laughs> oh, man. Lucky for us, his cycle's kind of bad right now. Well, now it's not. He has the Evo Cage back already, pretty much. But at least he has no Bomber, so he can't really Lava too freely. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Piggies here. Not much else I can actually do at this point. Yeah, he does have the Evo Cage already. Evo Cage is actually pretty broken against Piggies. Counters them pretty easily, even if you go for like an Earthquake or something. We do get a little something going, but really not much. Guys, I'm so concerned right now about how we're going to survive. He's going to Lightning here, then we're just going to lose the game. Or maybe he won't Lightning, because we have our Queen really up high. I played it so up high here, just so he's a little bit less likely to go for a Lightning onto everything. Okay, please tell me this This does what I want it to do. Okay, wow, what the heck? You know what? Wow, that was awfully good. <laughs> that was an awfully good defense right there. See, that was really important that I played my Queen kind of up high there. If I went for it all the way in the back, 100%, he would have just played the Lightning there and... We couldn't have done much, but yeah, that worked out pretty well. Now, we gotta hope our Evo Skeletons will do something here. I don't think they will, though. They might just all go in the cage and mess us up here. Okay, they are chaining on this side. Yo! Nice, okay. We force out the arrows there. We do get a little bit of damage, too. But guys, this matchup is just so darn bad. There's probably no chance for winning this one. I mean, geez, I can't even tell you how bad this guy has to play for us to win. <laughs> like, really. A whole new level of bad. <laughs> <laughs> bad plays will be needed from him here if we want to have any sort of shot of winning this matchup. Like, I don't even know what he can do to lose here. He could just... 
Like, I don't know, he could give it to his, like, three-year-old brother and he'd probably win. Okay, no, not the Evo Bomber. Dude, I've had enough. I've had enough, man. I've had enough. Wow. Nice, Queen is still alive. Yo, Queen is still alive. Nice, go get him, Archer Queen. Go get him. Wait, guys, there's no way. Did he just lose? There's no way. Lucas. Lucas, you cannot be out here losing this matchup, my guy. There's actually... No Did he actually just lose? Okay, guys, he didn't lose yet. He didn't lose yet. But there's actually no way if Lucas is really out here losing this matchup. Like, you cannot be out here losing this. You can't be caught losing this. He does go for a lightning. That's kind of what I wanted, though, just so he can't go in for a big lava push right now. Or he still could, but he's not going to have much elixir to defend. So, yeah, this is not bad. We kind of just have to Earthquake cycle him out. I feel like if he tries to full-on defend, I don't think we're going to break through easily. So, yeah, I got to keep defending here. Archer Queen is definitely going to do some great work. We do get this off. Okay, we just need to go for some piggies here. He wasted the bomber as well, so hopefully we're able to break through. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Nice, the piggy gets on the tower. Let's go. I cannot believe this guy just lost. All right, guys, we're in the next matchup against this guy. I am going to go for the bacon at the bridge here. <laughs> guys, one thing about Riley is that he eats so much bacon, man. Just playing this set of piggies here just reminds me of when I was at World Finals. Riley was just eating so much bacon every single day. He just filled this whole plate with bacon. <laughs> man. You know, I think it's good to have a... I like... I don't mind having a few pieces, you know? Like, I can eat a little bit, right? But, man, Riley just eats it like crazy. So, this guy has Bomber and Goblin Stein. Could be some sort of beatdown deck, if not maybe Goblin Drill or something like that. Okay, it is Pekka. I don't think I want to go for Piggies here. I'll just go for an Earthquake instead. Piggies might be a bit of an overcommit. He'd probably get his king up with a Fisherman or something. So, I'd rather play a bit of defense here. I'm going to go for the Cannon just to... Have my defense ready for a potential Ram Rider and whatever else he might try to play right here. Oh, he does have the Goblin Giant instead. Okay. Uh, hopefully our Queen does an amazing job here. Oh, no, no, please, please, no! Dude, oh my gosh. <sighs> P.E.K.K.A. players, P.E.K.K.A. players, P.E.K.K.A. players, man. Dude, what, like, how do you get away with this, too? Like, at least take some damage. Like, you just... Like, how's this even vi- Like, how's this even viable? Like, you just spent a billion elixir at the bridge. At least take some darn damage. Okay, he does take damage. Okay. Hey, thank you. Yo. Okay, guys, I'm actually happy. Yay. We actually got damage somehow. Okay, I'm very surprised. I thought he got his arrows down a lot sooner, so I thought I wouldn't get any damage. But, guys, realistically, we probably still lost here, because... Being in a one-to-one -one situation in this matchup is a pure death sentence, honestly. Oh, brother. Man, that Ice Spirit, dude, Pekka has a crazy range. Like, I know I could have played it farther and I could have gotten a decent defense there, but man, that range is just crazy. That should not be a real range <laughs> that a melee card like Pekka has. Realistically. Anyways, I guess we're probably chilling for right now. Don't have an awful lot to try to do here. He does actually go for an Evo Goblin Giant. Not really sure why. You know, I'm, I'm not defending that. I am not defending that Evo Goblin Giant. I, I just know I'm not. I'm I'm mature enough to know I'm not. Okay, what? Why are you going for a 3 crown? Yo, chill. Okay, guys, we do have our Evo Skellies, though, which he might expect, but he also might not expect. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Spare me, dang it. Spare me, please, please, please! Spare me, spare me. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Okay, you know, I don't mind this a crazy amount because he has a lot of damage, but it is on our King Tower. And I know he wants to go for our Princess Tower so he can go in the same lane as our Piggies. But I mean, realistically, yes, this is pretty terrible for us right now. My gosh, that P.E.K.K.A. just won't stop healing. <laughs> Goodness sakes, leave me alone, you silly goose. Goodness sakes, dude, please, leave a man alone. Please, leave me be, dude. Leave me be. Darn it. Leave me be. Leave me be. <laughs> goodness sakes, get off of here. No, get off of here. Oh, goodness sakes, no. <laughs> My king tower. <laughs> My king tower. <laughs> My king tower. Alright, guys. We're up against a burger flipper. He's probably working at, um, you know, probably Burger King as of right now. 
<laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No offense to this guy. He is the best bridge spam player in the world. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's playing bridge spam. I'm pretty certain. Maybe the Goblin Stein version. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. We could go for an early cannon here because that recruit won't fully counter the bandit. Okay. This matchup theoretically is good, but I swear just... These bridge spam decks with Goblin Stein, anything can happen. There's no counters to it. You know, it just... They get one good interaction, game over. So, yeah. We can't think of this as an easy matchup, otherwise we could easily lose by overextending or something like that. Evo Skeletons and Evo Ice Spirit will be pretty clutch here, though, for sure, so... I'm happy about that, at least. Oh, pretty nice Ice Spirit by him. Luckily, Queen does survive, though, so he's gonna have to respond to it. Man, he defended so easily. Um, here we can just go for this up high, I guess, and get our Evo Skellies off as well. He might have to arrows here, which would actually be super nice for us, because he definitely does not want to do that. Yeah, he has to arrows here, which is great. He could have punished us for going for piggies aggressively in this matchup, but because of the Evo Skeletons that we forced him to arrows, I don't think he's going to be able to. He does go for that. I was kind of expecting he might do something like that. We do have this and the log, though, so I think we'll be okay. He does pop the ability as well. That was kind of a terrible ability. Cannon would have died either way, so it doesn't do much for him. We can get an Earthquake off. A little bit awkward, but hey, it gets the job done. We counter everything. And if he goes for a Battle Ram, we do have our Evo Ice Spirit. So we're completely chilling right here. You just have to be careful to not overextend too much in this matchup, but you can actually be somewhat aggressive when you have your Evos to bail you out on defense. I don't want to really go for many Split Piggies here. I think I'll just try to stick to the left side at this point. We have a lot of damage already, so might as well keep on going here. He does go for the Ghost and the Evo Ice Spirit. We have our Evo Ice Spirit too, but I think our stuff will die and his is going to all survive here. But hey, we do get a few nibbles regardless. See, Piggies just never doesn't get damage. It always gets damage. I don't think I've had a set of Piggies that ever have not gotten damage. Unless I was facing Bomb Tower or something crazy like that. But yeah, man, Piggies are good. Oh no. No, please, please. Leave me alone! 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 Please. Okay, wait, guys, no, wait. Can we get good Evo Skellies off here? Or is he gonna predict it? No, no, Skellies, please. Go, go, continue! Okay, they do, they do. Oh my gosh, guys. I, ah, leave me be, leave me be. You don't want to keep spamming me, trust me. This is not what you wanted. This is not what you wanted! Wow, Bandit just went straight through the icicle. <laughs> what the heck? Why, is his, why are his bandits like that? <laughs> Let my bandits be like that too, man. Dude, this guy needs to leave the bridge alone. Leave the bridge alone, buddy. <laughs> man, these bridge spam players... See, guys, like, we have a good matchup here, but we're actually getting kind of wrecked right now because, man, bridge spam is broken with Goblin Stein. I mean, Goblin Stein is basically just a whole bridge spam card while also being insanely good on defense too. We need some damage, man, but these Evo Ice Spirits are kind of carrying him every single time, I feel like. We do get a very nice Earthquake here. I love how it hits the Ghost now. Doesn't really feel like it should, but... I mean, Clash Rail made it that way now, so I'll, I'll take it gratefully, because I'm an Earthquake spammer at times. Alright, so we're up a little bit of damage here. Not too much, though, so we can't really afford to make any sort of big mistakes at this point. If we make any big mistakes, we could still easily lose this one, but if we play perfect, I think we should be in the spot to win this matchup. Really nice Evo Ice Spirit. We probably don't have to respond to the Battle Ram anymore here. Cannon will kind of help out, too, so yeah, I think we're chilling. I will go for my Archer Queen here. This guy is the number one bridge spam player of all time, guys. He has, like, I think some of the best ladder finishes in total out of any player ever. But, and also a lot of number ones, I believe. Not even sure how many. Probably at least a few, though. Um, Okay. Very good Archer Queen. Man, the Battle Ram just killed everything. What in the world? Okay, that's a fat delivery. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> delivery, guys. Delivery goes crazy at times. Oh, no. Please. Dude, this guy, like, these Bridge Spam players, leave me be, man. Please, leave me be. Dang it, leave me be. Okay, he got a lot of damage there, but we defend. You know, that's what's important. Not having perfect defense every single time, but just preventing most of the damage is all we need to do sometimes. He does end up popping the ability. Evo Skeletons are going insane, though. He does get the Bandit off, too. Oh, no, please, Archer Queen. Please, 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 no. Why did you die for? No, 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 please, please, leave me be. Bandit, Bandit, please calm down. Oh man, guys, we almost lost that one. Alright guys, we're in the next match. I'm just gonna go for the Ice Spirit here first play. This guy is in a Graveyard Player's Clan. I'm not sure if he's playing Graveyard 2. Okay, looks like he might have the same deck as us. 
Piggy's Earthquake is quite popular, so I'm not too surprised. Yeah, it is Piggy's Earthquake as well. The mirror matchup is something I saw a lot of people do actually struggle with when playing this deck. It's really popular, so you have to know how exactly how to play the mirror matchup if you want to succeed with this sort of deck. I'll try to show you guys here some subtle things. You guys can kind of just try to pay attention to all the little interactions as well. It's really good to spam the Queen like crazy in this matchup. Whenever I'm fully focused in this matchup, I pretty much always win the mirror match. So, yeah, I can probably show you guys some pretty cool things to do here. Does go in for the piggies. I'm just going to go for a cannon here on this side. Hopefully he doesn't Earthquake too soon. Okay, looks like he doesn't Earthquake. Alright, nice. We take um, probably just one piggies hit here. Kind of crazy how piggies still broke through <laughs> that 9 elixir worth of stuff. But, hey, that's what piggies do. I am going to go in for this. He does go for his Archer Queen, but it is going to die. Okay, he protects it. That's not bad at all, though, for us. This is a really good start. You really don't want to take much early damage at all in this matchup. It's can, it can be, you know, just really hard to come back from that. We take no damage here. We could go for a high cannon, maybe push the piggies with Evo Skeletons if he tries to go in here. When you have an early damage lead, that's really the ideal spot for you. You can kind of just chill after that. Don't have to stress too much about doing anything too crazy. I will cycle the Earthquake. Nothing much better to do here. I'm gonna go for this and this. He does Earthquake nice, but Skeletons... Do not stay alive, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, I know he's going to get some damage here. I'm not too worried about it, though. Could log here, but I think I might as well just save my elixir. Get maybe a little bit of damage back if we're lucky. He's probably going to go for like a delivery log here, but if we're lucky, he might not. Oh, the Evo Ice Spirit. Unfortunately, will wreck all of our piggies. But yeah, we're up like a thousand damage, so we don't have to play completely flawless with every single little interaction. We can make a few mistakes and probably still be fine. He does actually decide to pop that kind of early. I'm actually going to cannon here. I feel like I kind of had to. Didn't have too much else to do. Delivery log here should fully counter. Okay, he really got a nibble still. Okay, he's actually kind of coming back at this point. So we have to make some nice plays here. Oh, not the skeletons going backwards. Man, Evo skeletons can be a real pest sometimes, I gotta say. Oh, no, no. Wait, we actually got a little bit of damage too. So not the end of the world. Now, those better die. I better not have to Earthquake here. Okay, I think I don't have to. I'm just going to go for my Piggy's Earthquake. He might have to Cannon late. Yeah, he does go for a very late Cannon. Definitely not ideal for him. His Queen is kind of just running away. Man, it really just switched lanes on us right there. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Oh, he does get the early Queen ability off, unfortunately. I'm just going to go for this here. He actually plays Piggy's right into my Archer Queen. Oh, no. Kill his piggies, kill his piggies. Okay. He gets one nibble. We don't really get any damage here. We're actually kind of starting to fall behind just a little bit. This matchup is very strange. There's a lot of strange interactions that can happen. So sometimes you can be looking good and then just have things turn in an instant. Our queen does get on the tower though. Big damage, big damage. Oh man, that got very good damage. Oh no, unfortunately his piggies are going to chip a lot. Oh man, that's kind of bad. Wow, we're actually kind of starting to lose right now. Nice, I knew he'd play the high cannon right there. Okay. He spent a lot of elixir though, so that's not terrible. If he goes for piggies, I'm going to get my Evo Skellies off. Yeah, I know he's going to go for them, so I'll just play my Evo Skellies. Yeah, I knew he would do that. Nice, perfect. Beautiful Evo Skellies prediction right there. Nice. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. I can just go for the Earthquake like so on this side. We kind of need to... Take those cannons off the board as quickly as we can. Nice, we do get that off. Perfect. Nice, we do get the Earthquake off too. Yeah, we're completely chilling here. I thought we might have got into a bit of trouble for a second, but nah, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this at this point. Oh, now it is Evo Skeletons. Let me get an Earthquake off. A little bit late, but we're still going to counter everything. He's probably going to go for more Piggies in a second, so I'm going to go for my Evo Ice Spirit. Going to get this Evo Skellies off too. Man, we're just predicting this guy so easy right now. We could get our Earthquake off. Log will fully take out the tower. And that is game over. That's exactly how you win this mirror matchup. Okay, we're up against Luminary. Now, I'm pretty sure he's playing Mortar. Yeah, this guy's one of the top Mortar players in the world right now. Please go for your Mortar up high. Okay, he doesn't. Sometimes if they do go for their Mortar up high, you can just get that early King activation using the Skeletons, but it's all good. Ooh, we have to go for a Cannon here. Kind of late, though, so Spear Goblin does get a lot of chip damage. Uh, oh, that's a pretty bad start. This matchup should be good, though, but... Yeah, pretty terrible start here. Couldn't really ask for much worse, honestly. 
I'm not too worried about the Galvensteins, though. You can stop them pretty well, even without a cannon in cycle, just using the Archer Queen and popping that early ability. Whenever you play Archer Queen and you try to use it to counter a Stein, you always want to go for that early ability because you're just able to get back to their ability by the time it crosses the bridge, usually. Pretty nice Earthquake right there will allow us to get a few nibbles on the tower. Probably not going to do a whole lot, but... I mean, yeah, that's kind of worth it, I would say. Yeah, we'll see if he spams a lot here. He potentially could. Wouldn't be surprised if he does. Okay, I guess he won't spam more here. Okay, very nice cannon. Yeah, this is why cannon is everywhere. I feel like Supercell might end up nerfing cannon for some reason, even though it's not really cannon that's the issue. It's Goblinstein. <laughs> I feel like they're going to nerf the wrong thing. And guys, for some reason, they're not releasing balance changes in December. They normally should, based on their... Um, one balance change set every two months schedule, but apparently they're not. I'm not really sure why. I think just, they're just trying to line it up with January to have new balance changes with the new year or something. Kind of annoyed about that, though. I feel like they should at least give some emergency changes or something because, man, there's some extremely broken cards in Clash Rail right now, like Evo Ice Spirit. Half the cards we're playing in our deck right now. Um, you know, obviously Evo Pekka, Goblin Stein, everything like that. So, hey man, I'm not the biggest fan of them skipping these balances. Recruit might actually get one hit here on the tower, I believe. Yeah, it should get one hit. This matchup is fairly good if you play perfect, but I have seen a lot of people lose this sort of matchup just by making one small misplay. That's really all it takes sometimes. These Evo Bats will be a little bit pesky, to be honest, but I think we can get a really nice delivery over here. Yeah, this looks like a beautiful delivery. Well, Bats are actually kind of going in front, but I don't think I mind this too much anyways. We do get a nice cannon off here on the Evo Mortar very quick. We can just get an Earthquake off as well. He should get maybe one hit at most. He gets zero hits. <laughs> oh, okay, love to see that. Oh no, please Ice Spirit. No, no, that's going to get on my tower. I don't care. It's okay. Just do it. Just get on my tower. It's okay. We take a little bit of damage there. Ice Spirit just barely didn't connect. That's what cost us all that damage. I'm going to go for a pretty early Earthquake right here on the Mortar. Very nice. We just have to Spell Cycle out at this point. Make sure we don't overcommit too much. And I think we should be fine. Also, guys, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I'm pretty sure they fixed the cannon cart bug, because I don't really see cannon cart surviving with 1 HP in crazy situations anymore like it used to. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys see it bugging still, because I'm pretty sure they fixed it. Maybe they did some maintenance or something like that and fixed it there. So yeah, cannon cart's once again a little bit balanced. Okay, this guy's already giving up, so I'll see you guys in the next match. <laughs>